the hmp pathway has great uh, importance or significance because it is involved in a number of synthetic uh, pathway first the formation of nadph the nadph which is formed in hmp pathway is involved in a number of reductive synthesis in the body such as fatty acid synthesis in adipose tissue lactating uh, breast as i told you that it is uh, occurred in specialized tissues and in liver also the biosynthesis of cholesterol in the liver and steroid hormones adrenal cortex like gonads and it is also involved in the regeneration of glutathione or re reduction of uh, glutathione which are which have great importance in erythrocyte and required for the uh, required for the life span of erythrocyte and play their role as protective as protectant to erythrocyte the hmp pathway provide pentosis which take part in synthesis of various uh, compounds like d ribose 5 phosphate is involved in the synthesis of nucleotide nucleic acid synthesis supply of arabinose 5 phosphate arabinose 5 phosphate can be produced from uh, the pentose form in this pathway like xylose 5 phosphate so the form arabinose 5 phosphate has a great importance in certain synthetic pathway like it is important in the formation of glycoprotein hmp pathway has great importance regarding the erythrocyte fragility why because the nadph which is provide which uh, which are uh, which is provided in uh, erythrocyte because the nadph which is provided in erythrocyte it is involved in the reduction of oxidized glutathione to form reduced glutathione and this reaction catalyzed by glutathione reductase enzyme now this reduced form of glutathione are involved in the removal of per oxidized from erythrocyte in presence of enzyme glutathione per oxidase that is selenium containing so water molecule is removed and and again oxidized form is oxid oxidation of uh, glutathione is occurred this is so important why because increase level of peroxides in erythrocyte causing increase oxidation of hemoglobin to meth hemoglobin in certain cases where nadph is or nadph formation is reduced because of uh, some congenital uh, disease that is deficiency of enzyme glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase if the enzyme is not present so ultimately it leads to the deficiency of nt uh, nadph so this uh, reduction of oxidized glutathione is not occur properly so the decrease amount of reduced form of glutathione occur and thus uh, reduce glutathione in the reduced form in the cell in the membranes of this erythrocyte uh, this is susceptible to the hemolysis and the uh, another significant role of HM, hmp pathway is lens metabolism as nadph which is formed by this pathway is necessary to convert oxidized glutathione to reduce glutathione it is also required for the maintenance of lens protein and at least 10% of glucose is metabolized by this shunt pathway and provide nadph also the hmp pathway playing their role in phagocytosis the generated nadph is utilized by the enzyme nadph oxidase 
which then producing superoxide anions, which is involved in damaging the phagocytosed materials. So thus it is involved in the process of phagocytosis. As I told you that oxidation in, the, in this pathway is uh, different as that of a glycolytic pathway. Oxidation occur in the first reaction and the third reaction by specific dehydrogenase enzyme and NADPH is produced. And the one carbon of glucose is removed as carbon dioxide by decarboxylation and that is not uh, produced or that a carbon dioxide production is not occurred in glycolysis. So the oxidation occur by dehydrogenation. Another importance of this pathway is associated with energy production. As I told you that energy production is not associated with this pathway, but or it is not directly associated. But if all the NADPH produced in this pathway by complete oxidation of one molecule of glucose is then converted to NADPH, NADH in the body by transhydrogenase reaction and that require oestrogen and oestrogen as coenzyme and that NADH is produced when oxidized in respiratory chain. So as we know it is associated, uh, this NADH is associated with uh, ATP production. So then theoretically it provides almost 36 molecules of ATP that is comparable to that of produced by glycolysis and TCA cycle or that is provided by glycolysis and TCA cycle. HMD pathway plays its role in hypoxic condition or in tissue anoxia where decreased level of oxygen. So at that condition, fatty infiltration occurs. That is infiltration of hypoxic tissue with excess of fat. What basically occurred? As there is no oxygen, so pyruvic degradation by TCA cycle is not possible. And on the other hand, the intermediate of anaerobic glycolysis start accumulating which then cause divergence of glucose 6-phosphate to start HMP pathway or the divergence of glucose 6-phosphate into HMP pathways occur and this will cause and this will cause, and this then causes the increased level of NADPH and thus lowering the ratio of NADP uh, to NADPH and thus excess NADPH is involved in the synthesis of fatty acid and thus account for fatty infiltration. As I told you that NADPH is involved in the fatty acid synthesis. Another importance of HMP pathway is the production of carbon dioxide. As in each cycle, three molecules of carbon dioxide are formed. And it is in, uh, and these are utilized in case of plant. And these, are, these may utilize in carbon dioxide fixation reaction as in plant for the formation of glucose. And it is occurred by the process of photosynthesis where carbon dioxide and water molecules are involved in presence of sun and chlorophyll. Sugar molecules with liberation of oxygen is formed. This is all about today's lecture. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.